All right, so just here in a minute, we're going to get started. I've got five quarter coin rings we're going to be working on in this live. We've got a bicentennial quarter. We've got two 1994 quarters and two 1998 quarters. And we're going to be making them into rings that look similar to this. So I'm just going to give uh, people a little bit more time to get in here, and then we'll get started. Uh, while we wait, you guys go ahead and type ring into the chat, and that'll help bring a couple more people in here so we can get started. I appreciate it. All right, give me just a minute, and uh, we'll see who all shows up. This is a Kentucky size 13 I made yesterday. came out pretty cool. And this is a 1989 quarter I made yesterday as well. How's it going, man? Thank you very much. Yeah, we got five quarter coin rings to make, so we're going to get started here in just a second. I'm going to punch some holes in these, and bend them, shape them, and make them into rings. Uh, if you guys want to see that, go ahead and type ring into the chat. Once I see a bunch of rings show up down here, I'll get started. Alright, yeah, we just broke 100 people. That's pretty good. Get all my tools set up. So we can get started. Hey, we got a ring. There we go. Yep, there's two. Very nice. I appreciate it. I'll take it. Like I said, we got five quarters we're going to be working on, so we're just going to punch the holes out of all five of these right now. And to do that, I got to, I got to get on the ground. So we get all our quarters, we get our punch tool, and we get our hammer. 150 people in here. Very cool. Y'all go ahead and tap the screen a whole bunch while you're at it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. There we go. Nice eagle center punch there. I'll go ahead and pop this out. I'll be right back. That's what it looks like with the center punched out of it. It's pretty cool. We got four more of these to do, so let's just drill through them. Sorry, this isn't the most exciting shot. I promise co cooler stuff's coming up. What are you creating? Coin rings. I'm making uh, quarters into rings. sell them you can click this little um, button up here it'll take you to my profile there's a link on there and you can order through my website store there we go there's the second one we'll go ahead and just keep on going thank you guys for the follows I do appreciate it Thank you very much. This is the bicentennial. Cool. You get a nice little drummer boy center punch on this one. Pretty cool.
Thank you guys for the likes and follows. That's very nice. Pretty cool. We got two more to punch through, so just bear with me. These will eventually be rings if you hang around long enough. You can watch it happen. Not going to lie, kind of like that center punch. Yeah, me too. There's that one, 1988. And here's the last one for this set. I'm sorry if I'm missing some comments or questions. I am kind of just focusing on this, so uh, bear with me for just a moment. enough. Alright, we can go back up here now. Nice. Alright, let's see what the chat says. Yeah, I'm making quarters into rings. This is a finished one. And most of these are Washington. So they'll look like this. There we go. Let's see if I can track all of them down. And I'm just gonna push this out. Thank you very much for the follows, everybody. There we go. Happy birthday. Uh, if you'd like to learn about the laws around this, I have a blog post on my website. It's right at the top. You can find it. Uh, it's the link in my bio. And I worked on it with a lawyer. So we, we made sure we we followed all the law. And uh, it's basically the same as penny spashing machines they have at theme parks. What do I do with the middle? I make keychains and pins out of them. As far as how much, I make a bunch of different types of rings. So my prices range from like ten dollars then to close to 200 so it really depends on what you're looking for but you can find my prices by going to coinringmaker.com oh i'm out of breath yeah that's true if you order uh, you have a chance of seeing them either get made here or on a tiktok video but i do have quite a few to work on right now yesterday's live gave me some surplus work clear off a little workspace here let's see uh, these are uh, 17 you can get 2020 quarter coin rings under deals and those are just ten dollars uh, if you want to get silver it's a little more expensive so uh, from where we punch the hole out of this we have a really sharp rough edge right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this deburring tool and I'm just gonna remove that this is kind of the slow boring part. Uh, so if you guys just want to tap the screen a whole punch while we get this done, I would appreciate it. Right now we're sitting at 2,000 likes. I bet we could get to 3,000 pretty easily with a little bit of y'all's help. And again, I'm sorry if I'm missing uh, comments and questions. Thank you for my moderators helping me out. I do kind of have to focus on what I'm doing so I don't mess it up. So I may miss some comments. 
what do I do with the center punch? I I make them into uh, keychains or like hat pins. Or I also make uh, little mini coins out of them with my logo on it. So you can you can order them as like an added on keychain with your ring if you would like. That's an option. What's going on, Doug? Just making some coin rings. You know how it goes. So we got about 500 people in here, and we hit 6,000 likes. That's incredible. Thank you guys so much. And my goal was 3,000. Y'all blew it out of the water. Uh, it's legal, guys. It's it's the same as like a penny smasher, like Six Flags or at Sea World. Not illegal. Yeah, art. It's jewelry. It's not fraud. I'm not taking a penny and making it look like a dime and trying to spend it. That would be against the law. This is very different. And there's thousands of coin ring makers out there in the world. It's actually a really interesting group of people. I'm turning quarters into rings. Let me show you an example of what a finished one looks like real quick. If you guys are interested. And you can uh, find my shop on my website by tapping this little picture up here. Tapping the link in my bio. And just visiting the store website there. If you want to get yourself something. All right, now I'm just a burn. Just cleaning up that cut edge. And we're working on five coins at the same time, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to move through each one of these steps. Right, I do appreciate you guys spending some time with me and watch me make some jewelry. It's not against the law. Uh, I have a blog post on my website if you'd like to take a moment and read it. If not, it's basically the same as penny smashers at amusement parks. You've seen those things, right? There we go. We're just moving through these. I'm in Texas. Yeah, I found the 1986 like almost five minutes after the live they were kind of huddled up in a separate container but i found it let me see here drill would be quicker um but it's harder to get it exactly in the center of the coin and I don't want to mess up the detail on the coin. So drills have a tendency to slip and scratch up the coins. And I really like mine to be as clean and nice as possible. The best detail I can get. Yeah, I've got a pretty decent uh, punch tool. I like it. There we go. So... We got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Yeah, dude. Um, you can check out my products by clicking this little picture up here and visiting the link in my bio. Then there's a blue button at the top of the page that'll take you right to my store. You can see all the different rings I make. Along with some other things, I make coins into cowboy hats. I think they're pretty cute. They're pretty cool. I'm slowly turning quarters into rings. Um, right now I'm just cleaning up these cut edges. I'm almost done with this part of it though. So we're almost done with the slow boring part. If you guys would tap the screen, we're really close to getting 10,000 likes. I think we could push it over the edge. 
not silver. No, these are copper. I do offer silver quarter rings. Um, I like I like to do both, and uh, some customers prefer copper. Some customers prefer silver. Here's a look at what they look like when they're finished. This guy wanted a little darker look. My rings are usually a little shinier than this, but I added a little darkness for him. Thank you very much. I actually have uh, a gold plating kit on the way. I can't afford to work on pure gold rings at this time, but I am getting a kit to plate them pretty soon. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, the price ranges from about $10 to up to like $200. So it really depends on what you're, you're trying to get. But you can find my prices by tapping this little button up here, tapping the link in my bio, and then the store button on my website. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the first fold on these. Get it nice and close for you. There we go. And we want the date on the outside, so we put that face down. That's how that looks. Could you make another ring out of a centerpiece of a silver eagle? Uh, yeah. I, I think I could make two rings out of a silver eagle, for sure. The band would be a little thinner, though, because I'd have to use a bigger punch for the bigger ring, if that makes sense. I love having people watch me work on my crafts. I'm glad you guys are here. It makes it a lot more fun. Uh, it's not illegal. If you'd like to learn about it, you can find a blog post on my website. But it's basically the same thing as like a penny smashing machine in amusement parks. Uh, when you start altering currency to look like it's worth more than it is, that's called fraud, and that is illegal. Um, but I'm not doing that. I'm turning coins into jewelry. And there's actually, like, international shipping codes for coin jewelry, so I don't think those would exist if this was illegal. Yeah, I get them all the time. I don't know. I'm, people want to be careful. They're worried about my legal safety, you know? But don't worry, I've, I've done my homework, I've consulted with lawyers, I've read the law, I know how it works, and I'm perfectly safe. So don't you guys worry. There we go, that's the second fold we do. I'll zoom out just a little bit on this. It's starting to look more like a ring. Thank you very much. I'm glad you think it's cool, man. Go ahead and tap the screen if you guys think what I'm doing is cool. Let me know. Send some likes my way. Now this one's pretty cool. This is a bicentennial quarter. So you got the you got double dates on it. It's pretty neat. The copper ones can turn your fingers green. Uh, you can paint them with a little bit of clear fingernail polish every once in a while. And that'll reduce that. Uh, if you're really worried about having green finger, I suggest ordering a uh, silver ring, 90% silver, or um, yeah, something like that. That that way you don't get the green finger. So like this is a, a Morgan dollar. It's 90% silver, and it doesn't turn my finger green. Uh, some people like wearing copper jewelry. That's why I offer it. 1979 okay you can do that um, I believe the pick your date quarters are $17 on my website right now if you just click this this image up here click this this image up here sorry about that I'm back I'm back yeah I do offer uh, dollars as well so you can do that uh, they are a little bit more expensive uh, for quarters, I can go up to size 13. That's the biggest I can do. If you need something bigger than that, I would say I'd suggest like a half dollar or a dollar. What's the oldest coin I've made? I've made some stuff from the 18, like 1880s. So pretty, pretty old stuff, over 120 years.
Yeah, fraudulent. That's the key word in that law. No fraud here. I'm being very honest about what I'm doing. I'm making stuff into rings. Um, let's see here. I'm sorry for whoever's trying to chat with me on my website right now. I'm in the middle of a live and I can't uh, answer your question. If you'd like to send me a coin to be made into a ring, um, the best thing to do would be message me after the live and we can work that out. If I'm not following you, go ahead and leave a comment in one of my videos. Let me know that you want a custom ring. I use a press and a hammer. I use both. Do you use gold colored dollars? No, I've never done that. I like the one on my thumb. Yeah, I got this from Knott's Berry Farms like over 15 years ago. what I'm doing right now is I'm just cleaning up these cut edges to make them nice and smooth so they don't split when we start stretching this out. Um, for the quarters, the state quarters and the date quarters that are copper, uh, they're $17 right now. You can get 2020 quarters for $10 in the deal section. And if you want silver, I think they're... 70 for the state ones and 85 for uh, pre-1965 quarters. Yeah, y'all go check out the link. Uh, it's, it's in my bio. And there's lots of cool rings to check out. Uh, I've wanted to add Sacagawea rings to my listings. But I haven't found any, so I, I think I need to go to a bank and just ask for like a roll. Uh, Brian, if you want to follow me, that should be something I'll be adding probably in the next two weeks. Because I do want to make those. Again, not all of this process is super fun and sexy. There's some slow parts that you just gotta do. So I appreciate y'all bearing with me while we get these cleaned up. Uh, size 15, you'd probably want a half dollar or a dollar, and those are going to be over 50 bucks. If you just want to go to my website, bud, just click this and then click the link in my bio. You can see all my presses. There, you can compare around. But the biggest I can make a quarter is 13. That sounds good to me, man. Uh, it'll be a little bit more to make um, two rings out of it, but we can talk about that after the live. All right, so now we've got our five quarters. Uh, it's kind of a half and half. I have another job, and I'm slowly working this up to replace that. Dude, I'm so excited for you, Coin Hunting High. You're going to love your stuff. You, you got some good stuff, man. Is there a 2018 quarters? Uh, it's probably a, a... They probably made five in 2018 for different states. Um... So you would just have to kind of pick which state they made that year that you would want, and then pick that. Yeah. After uh, 1998, they started doing state quarters, so they don't they don't look like this anymore. They look like I just had some. Yeah. So instead of looking like this with the Liberty and the date on them. They'll have the date on the back of it, like this, and then you'll have the state on the front. And then the year that state was founded, which is pretty cool. All right, uh, do you ever make rings out of stainless steel O-ring washers? I've had people tell me that my rings look like washers, um, but steel is actually pretty tough on my tools, uh, so I don't mess with it. I think you're right about the 2018. I think it is a national park. 
But yeah, I try not to work with steel too much because it's real rough on my tools. I mostly work with copper and silver. So now we're going to go over here to the ring stretcher and stretch these rings out. And while I do this, I cannot see my screen, so if my moderators will kind of pay a little closer attention. I appreciate you guys answering questions and stuff. I'm just going to stretch these out a bit. Check what size I'm looking for. This one needs to be a size 13. That's pretty big. So we'll probably hit this one with a torch here in a second. Go ahead and stretch out the rest of these. And if you'd like to get a ring from me, you can tap this um, photo up here. Tap the link in my bio and then check out my store. I've got a bunch of different types of rings I make. I'm sure you'll find something you like. These are all going to be pretty big. I'll take a break and see what y'all are saying real quick. I've seen 12 and a half on the website. For which ring? Florida Coast Smith. Which which ring in particular? You don't know your ring size. Yeah, you wanna you wanna make sure you get an accurate ring size. I've never seen anyone do this before. Uh, do you do a bunch of business? It comes and goes. Uh, really, this this business is kind of based on virality. So if, if I'm getting a bunch of views, I'm getting a bunch of business. I don't do any advertising. It's all social media posts. So if I if I make a good video, I usually make some money, which is pretty cool. And I'm on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. So some days are slower than others, that's for sure. All these rings need to get pretty big, so I'm just going to go ahead and anneal all of them and go over here and play with some fire. Does the plate on the bottom dictate the size? Uh, it can reduce sizes. I don't really like using that plate. I have reduction dies that are a little cleaner. I prefer using those. Do you think you could form the head stamp? on a 50 cent case into a ring? I don't think so. Yeah, no problem. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these partially done rings, we're gonna heat them up with my torch here and then dip them in water and that's gonna make the copper just a little easier to work with. Yes, I do sell them. You can order, oh my gosh, there's 14,000 likes on this. Uh, by tapping this and then the link in my bio and there's a store button there and you can see all the different rings I make and uh, order you something cool. And I usually make my rings on live or on TikTok videos. So you can probably get a video of your ring getting made. Okay, I gotta focus on the fire. Here we go.
And I'll get right back to answering questions in just a second. I just kind of got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. So I don't hurt myself. Check this out. Nice. Um, I anneal and quench based on um, the resistance I feel in the ring. So if I start feeling the metal hardening up, I will uh, anneal it some more. Usually with quarters, I only have to do it once. With larger coins, definitely take quite a bit of annealing. What's going on, Ben? We're making some quarter coin rings today. We've got five we're making at the same time. Boop. And I'm just drying these off real quick and then we can go back to stretching them. Well, thank you for the gift, bud. That's nice. That's real nice. How much for a quarter ring? Um... The copper ones are 17 You can get a 2020 copper one for $10 under deals. And if you want a silver one, the state silver ones are 70 The pre-1964 ones are 85 All right. Let's go ahead and stretch these out a little bit more. These are big boy rings. These are man rings. Let's see here, the 94s are going to size 11. it down so that we can get nice straight walls so that one should be good the 88s are size 10 and these just stretch so much easier after they're annealed and the chance of them snapping is, is reduced annealing coins when working on them is a pretty Useful technique. It works quite well. I used to be really scared of it. But now I can see how valuable it is. I do it all the time. Two, two, two. We got 94. Get a couple questions here. Um, if, if I missed you, go ahead and ask your question again. I can see the screen now and am ready to answer. Um, 74 size 11 would be $17 uh, plus shipping, which is like four bucks. So now we're going to take this kind of a cone shape and we're gonna straighten it out so these walls are nice and even. So it looks like a nice ring. I'm sorry if I lost you guys for a second. Uh, Morgan dollars, peace dollars, um, silver half dollars. I do a lot, lots of old coins. Um, but most, mostly what I sell is these copper quarter ones. They're my most popular. It's gonna be a size 11. How 
long does it take? Uh, it usually takes just a couple days. Uh, it's like maybe three or four business days for shipping. Most most people get my stuff pretty quick because it's not super heavy. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Make sure we got the shape and size right. There we go. So this one is sized and shaped correctly. Uh, now we just got to clean this one up and we'll do that after I finish sizing the rest of them. do a little side-by-side -side of before and after. Can y'all see how much nicer that is with the, the straight walls compared to kind of this this cone shape? Yeah, the fire scale leaves a pretty cool effect. It really makes them details pop. But I am partial to uh, shiny things. I like my rings to be as shiny as I can get them. There we go. Go ahead and check the size on it. The shape looks good. Bring it back up just a little bit. Sometimes I gotta walk back and forth on sizes until I get it just right. There we go, that's perfect. We got two rings done. And these are gonna be size 10, these 1988 ones. Oh, I get you. Shiny's pretty. Well, it's about time for a selfless plug. Uh, if anybody here hasn't heard yet, you can order rings from me at coinringmaker.com. I have a link on my profile, which you can find by tapping this icon up here. You won't even have to leave the live. You can still hear me talk and work on my rings as you check out uh, the different types of rings I offer. So that's a pretty cool little feature. And I get a little pop-up on my phone every time somebody visits my website. So I can see you guys hopping over there. Yep, there's another one right now. I have got one order since I started working on this, so as soon as I finish these, I will probably be working on that one. Sure. And here's the uh, Memento More round. This is the round that uh, Coin Hunting High got a ring made out of recently, and it's on the way to him right now. He should get it within the next day or two. I really like how these come out. These are super cool. And the Aztecs are in a different tube. That's what they look like. And I just made my first Aztec ring yesterday. And I actually made two rings out of these. Try those down. So this is the bigger one. Came out really cool. And this is the uh, the smaller. Well, I don't know. This is a size ten, but I guess the thinner band. So these two came off the same round. And I think it's really cool to be able to make two rings, like a male and a female ring, out of the same round. Definitely something I'm going to be adding to my store as an option here pretty soon. 
All right. Did you like that? Did you get a good look at them? All right. So it seems like TikTok has uh, stopped sending people in here. So if you guys wouldn't mind sharing this live with just a random person, uh, if, if everybody did it, we'd get another hundred people in here and that'd be pretty cool. Just want to make sure this is just the right size. Thank you for the follows, guys. I really appreciate it. It seems like I can only get people to follow me while I'm live, but I, I'm not complaining. It's not illegal to uh, make jewelry out of money. It is illegal to fraudulently to face currency. So if I was taking pennies and making them appear to look like dimes and trying to spend them, uh, that would be illegal. That would be fraud. But I'm making jewelry, and I'm honest about it. These are clearly rings. Right? This is clearly a ring. Not a quarter. Don't try and spend it. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to learn more about the laws around it, I do have a blog post on my website right at the top. It's about a three-minute read. I worked with a lawyer on it to cover all my bases and make sure I didn't make any mistakes because I really didn't want to start a hobby that was illegal you know you gotta be careful out there let's see so this one is the last one we have to fix and it's going to be a size 13 so I'm actually going to use this reduction die under my ring stretcher to work on it just because it's a little bit bigger than what I have over there. And with these, you can see that under the date, it gets a little wiggly, and to correct that, what I'll do is reduce and stretch it a couple times. So we're just gonna go back and forth and kind of work that, that wave out. It's getting a little bit better. We'll go ahead and stretch it again, and then reduce it one more time. And that's the main reason why the uh, the pre-1964 silver, or pre-1965 silver ones are a little more expensive, is because they get wavy, and they just take extra care and attention to get the right size and the right shape. The silver state quarters are actually really easy, so that's why I offer them a little bit cheaper. Hey, we're almost up to 200 people again. Nice. Sitting at 17,900 likes. And you can see we really straightened out that date. It's not as wavy. It's not quite where I want it. So I'm going to do it one more time.
right now, size 13. Sometimes you gotta do a little back and forth on the sizing so we can get it just right. I'm doing pretty good. I'm sorry this is a little bit of dead air here. Um, I'm turning quarters into rings. So this is a bicentennial quarter. It's a size 13 ring and it's still got some fire scale on it so that's why it looks a little dark. But we're about to knock that off and make it shiny again. Yeah, I can show you a half dollar. So this this one is unfinished. Um, so it's still got that kind of cone shape because I want to be able to change the size whenever someone orders it. But this is a 1944, 90% uh, silver half dollar ring. Uh, you can order by tapping this picture up here and then the link in my bio and all the prices are on my website store dude you should man i love making these it's a lot of fun and uh as a little thank you for you guys joining me on this live if you're interested in getting yourself a coin ring you can use the coupon code welcome it'll save you 10 percent off anything in my store and I also have a deal going on 2020 quarter coin rings. They're just 10 bucks. So my uh, copper quarter rings are usually 17. So that's a $7 savings. It's a pretty good deal. I just have a ton of 2020 quarters. So I figured I'd offer them a little cheaper. I've made one bell. Um, not sure where it is at the moment, but I have made a bell. Uh, I like rings a little bit better. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just sanding these uh, cut edges to make them nice and smooth. It shouldn't take me very long, so give me just a second to do that. I send them as is. Um, but I do recommend, if you get a copper one, to put clear fingernail polish on it if you're worried about getting a green finger. Uh, if you're really worried about it, um, I suggest getting silver. I think around Christmas time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive back into bells. Uh, I could do a 1995, uh, and in starting in 1999, they started doing the state quarters. And so like a 2001 quarter, they did five different states that year. So you would want to have to pick those through the pick your state and know which state was made on that year. It's a little tricky. Um, but that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> nice. My profile picture used to be a coin ring. There we go. So now you can see we've got all these sized up, shaped up, and we've got fire scale on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this zero aught steel wool and just kind of knock that off of there that's going to make these details really pop and bring the shine back to it sorry about the messy desk yeah time to go shiny again this is just a really awkward thing to film so i'm trying for you guys Go ahead and show you like kind of a before, after, before, after. Yeah, 
If anybody has any questions, now's a good time to ask. I'm very open about what I do, my process, my materials, my tools. I like teaching people about this. So if there's anything you'd like to know, let me know. Thank you for the follow. Oh, there's a couple people people following. Blah, blah, blah. Getting tongue tied. There we go. That one's looking pretty good. Four more to go. How did I get started? Um, I saw a YouTube video. Uh, it's a channel called Change You Can Wear. This guy named Skyler. And uh, I saw him make a quarter into a ring, and I was like, I wonder if I can do that with just stuff around my house. So I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and they were all terrible. And I saved up a little bit of money, got some proper tools, and they got better. And I sold those rings, and got some real nice tools, and they got really good. And I've pretty much been doing it every day for the last 15 months. <laughs> because I just like fell in love with the process. Like, I gave up video games to like make these rings because it's more fun. And what else is really cool is like, I know there's hundreds of people in the world wearing my handmade jewelry which is like I don't know something to get a little big headed about but it's it's a pretty cool pretty cool thing yeah I have a list of recommended tools if you'd like to get started on my website there's also videos on like showing you how to use those tools on that page as well how do you make a coin into a ring well you punch a hole in it then you fold it then you stretch it then you reduce it, then you clean it up. Uh, if you'd like to see some more in-depth tutorials on how to make a coin ring, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Coin Ring Maker. There's tutorials on there. It's hard for me to make a decent tutorial on TikTok with, within like three minutes. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these off screen because my hands are cramping. If you'd like to order a coin ring, you can go to coinringmaker.com. Do I have silver quarters I'm making rings? Absolutely. I have silver state quarters and pre-1964 silver quarters. Yeah, dude. Dude, you're killing it. I really appreciate you moderating. Uh, this is for zero steel wool. Um... For the state silver quarters, they're 70. For the pre-1965 quarters, they are 85. They're just a little more difficult to work with because they have older silver. And they like to be a little wavy. Here's the 1776 quarter, size 13 ring. Looking pretty good. And we just got one more with fire scale on it I need to knock off. So give me just a second to do that. Now this is this is the finest steel wool I can find. So that way it doesn't scratch up the detail on the coin. It just scrapes away that fire scale. Dude, I love these silver ones. They're awesome. I don't get to make as many as I'd like. The copper ones are pretty popular. I'll go ahead and show off what we've done here. We got one, we got two, three, four, and 
five. Now the next step for these would be to put them in this tumbler over here, uh, but that's really loud and annoying, so I'm actually going to wait uh, to do that uh, la later today. Um, but I did get an order while working on these, so I'm going to check that out and probably make that ring. So give me just a second to see what we're making. Are they just quarters, or do you do silver dollars as well? I do quarters, silver dollars, half dollars, uh, copper rounds. This is a copper round I recently added to my website that I'm making rings into. Um, so I can, I can pretty much ring anything over the size of a quarter. Checking to see what we're making next. And uh, while I'm checking this out, you guys feel free to go order something. Give me a little bit of business. You don't have to. I just appreciate you guys watching. The Aztecs are sick. I really like them. Yeah, that's, this is how the Aztec ring came out. Just tons of detail all over this thing. And the inside's pretty neat too. Yeah, I really like this one. Alright, looks like we've got a size 9 or it. Let's fish that out. this into a size 9 ring. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and type ring into the chat and we'll get started. Alright, so the best thing to do about your ring sizes, guys, is just go to a jewelry store, get your ring sized. It should be like less than two minutes. Uh, it should be free and that way we can get you the most comfortable ring possible. So I really like my customers to get really accurate ring sizes so that's why I recommend they go to jewelry stores I know it's kind of counteractive to send them to a jewelry store when I want them to buy a ring from me but I want you guys to know your accurate ring size when you order so it'll be nice and comfortable all right we got a couple rings in the chat let's go down to the floor and punch a hole in this thing uh, where's my hole punch there it is center punch. You got a nice little lake view, some trees. Very nice. You guys want to see my favorite center punch so far? Check this out. This is the Aztec center punch. How cool is that? Yeah, the coin fam's up in here for sure. They follow me around. I love it. The center punches are in pretty good condition when they come out. Um, basically, I just have to sand the, the really sharp cut corner here, but is isn't doesn't take very much time to do that. <laughs> Wherever the coins are, we will be there. I believe it. I believe it. So we got this nice sharp cut edge here like you saw on the center punch it's also on the inside of the coin we're going to take this deburring tool and cut that out and we're currently sitting at 18,000 likes which is 
pretty freaking cool. I appreciate all the likes, guys. Thank you very much. And we'll just cut that sharp edge off of here real quick. And for anybody who's just snuck in, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make rings out of coins. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the different type of rings I offer, you can find all of them by clicking my picture up here and then clicking the link in my bio. And then there's a blue button right at the top there. That'll take you to my store and you can see all the different rings I make. Uh, I've got them from $10 up to $200. Really depends on what you're looking for. But I try to keep a nice price range so everybody can find something. Um, I usually make my orders here on live or on TikTok videos. So if you'd like to see your ring get made and you're here on the live, I suggest ordering right now because I feel like I'll finish this one pretty quick. And we'll probably have time for another one. So if that's something you're interested in, you can just tap that button right there. Go to my website. Uh, Picture Rocks or Michigan. Thank you for the follow. That's very nice. We're just folding this a bit to give it a little bit more of that ring shape we're looking for. This is Oregon. Got some nice trees on it. Pretty cool quarter. Do I melt the shavings down? I'm saving them. I don't have any like smelting material at this time. Like I don't have a tool for it. But I am saving them for when I get them. cut edge nice and smooth so now we can go ahead and just stretch it size 9 so it should be nice and easy if y'all wouldn't mind just go ahead and tap that screen a whole bunch real quick see if we can drive tiktok to bring some more people in some weird filters okay sorry about that so now we've got kind of this cone shape what we're gonna do is just even out these walls and get it down to our size Y'all go ahead and uh, send some likes to my moderators. They're they're kicking butt. They're the best. Let's let's all say thank you to the mods. <laughs> Couldn't do it without you.
can you show how you measure the exact size? Yeah, I've got this tool, it's called a mandrel, and I just slide my ring on here, and you can see it's just a little above a size 9, between a size 10 and size 9. So I'm just slowly making it smaller till we get to that size 9. We'll do that over here. So it's pretty close. <laughs> well, you, you really help me out. You really do, so I do appreciate it. I do it just a little under the size 9, so there's a little bit of just a smidgen of breathing room. So it's not super tight on there. I'll show you here in a second once I get there. Uh, not really. I try and keep as much detail on there as I can. So you can see here, it's just below that size nine. So there's just a little bit of breathing room. Uh, and that's about where I do it. So I don't do it like right on it. I do it just below. And there we go. It's looking pretty good to me, yeah. So we get we got a bunch of detail on this one. It's pretty cool. We go ahead and sand this cut edge. And I'm gonna prompt you guys to order a ring. If I order an Memento ring. Because I also buy the coin. Uh, I don't sell the coins. I just sell the rings. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's kind of a. Uh, profit loss situation there if if I sold the coins uh, individually I would honestly not make as much as if I made them into rings so if I sold the coins I'd basically have to s charge the same price as the ring uh, to make any money so I mean if you if you want to spend that much on the coin and not have it made into a ring I can do that but that's probably not something you want to do has anyone requested a W quarter? Not seriously. I've had a couple people joke about it. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't not do it, uh, but it would probably be pretty expensive. So I, I've got a couple of them, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do it. These W's are cool. So let's see here. Well, here are all the rings we have made today so far. I'd say that's that's a pretty decent amount. Is anybody here thinking about getting a ring? Have any questions about getting a ring? Uh, a little hesitant about getting a ring? Need some reassurement? Um, let me know. Uh, I'm all caught up here, so... Not, not to be that guy, but if nobody orders a ring here in the next five minutes or so, I'll probably get off of here. Uh, but if you do go order something, I'll make it right here in front of you. That's what I like to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd have a lot of uh, coin collectors mad at me if I did a W. For sure.
but yeah, a little selfless plug. Um, while we're just chilling, if you want to go check out what I what I make, what I offer, where my store is, you can click this little icon right here. Click the link in my bio, and go check out my store. Uh, and get 2020 uh, quarter coin rings for ten dollars right now. It's a pretty good deal. I don't know how long that deal is going to be there. Uh, the state and date quarter coin rings are 17 and the uh the silver state ones are 70 the pre 1965 silver quarters are 85 uh, they're just a little harder to work with the uh, silver is a little older and it needs a little more attention yeah uh, when you look at my prices, you guys go ahead and split it into thirds. So basically, a third of it's going to taxes, a third of it's going to operating and running this business, and a third of it's going to me. Um, are the only in the states you have listed? Uh, yeah, I only have... I have um, all 50 in copper and in silver. I, I have maybe... I think 17 different states. If you're looking for something in particular, let me know that if you're not seeing it on my site, I can uh, kind of track down a coin for you and make a ring if, if that's something you're interested in. Thank you. I'll go ahead and take a little, little closer look at some of these. I'll probably clean up the inside of them a bit. But yeah, I appreciate you guys spending a little bit of time with me, watching me make some rings today. It was pretty fun. It was a good time. Yeah, I have New Mexico. Uh, in copper and in silver. I was waiting for Missouri or Kansas cowboy hat, keychain. Uh, I can do that. Let's see. I know on my Etsy you can add a note. I don't know if you can do it on my website. Um, so if you order a cowboy hat keychain on my website, you can do the cowboy hat uh, quarter ones and then just add a note that you would like Missouri or Kansas and I'll do that for you. No problem. And you can find that Etsy button it's like one of the last buttons at the top of my website. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean these up with some steel wool. And we'll hang out for a little bit, see if somebody wants something made. And if not, uh, I might just make something for fun. Uh, 2020 rings, 2020 quarters are ten dollars. If I send you a silver quarter, will that cut down the price at all? It'll cut off like maybe ten dollars. But you'll be paying shipping to me, uh, so that that's going to be about four bucks right there. Uh, so really, you won't you won't save too much. Hey, we got an order. I'm interested in the small ones that you cut from the quarter. How much is that? Uh, these little punches, uh, I make these into keychains and pins. Uh, you can add them on with a quarter as, as a, like a little add-on, if that's something you'd like to do. Uh, 2021s, let me see. Just a moment, I'm going to check that for you. I think I have 2021s listed on my Etsy, 
uh, but I don't, I'm not sure what the price is on them. I'm pretty sure those come with the keychain automatically. So I think they're like 35, something like that. Now I can make yours. All right, let's see what you ordered. Go ahead and set these aside. Decent amount of rings though, huh? Not too bad. We got a size 10 and a half Indiana. Let's do it. Right on, man. Yeah, go check out my website, guys. Uh, if you haven't been there yet, uh, click this little icon. Click the link in my profile. It'll take you to my website. There's a blue button at the top. Take you to my store. And you can see all the cool stuff I make. Uh, so we're going to be making an Indiana 10 and a half quarter corn ring. First thing we've got to do is punch a hole in it. Let's go down to the floor and do it. And thank you for your order, by the way. I do appreciate it. You also ordered a center punch pin. This is going to be pretty cool. Because you got that NASCAR right on the top there. Right in the middle. So we're going to be putting a pin on the back of this. And those look like this. So that'll be on the back there. And that's how that'll look. I've done a dollar coin with the presidents, the writing around the rim. Uh, I've done a, huh? No, not yet. No, I'll come get you one time. Dean, I'm doing a live. I will come get you. So as far as the presidential dollars, I've done one Sacagawea ring, and I'd like to do some more, but they're hard to track down in, in the town I live in. Pretty cool. So this is an option. Uh, if you'd like to do this, you can get your center punch as a pin. Um, so you just want, you just want these, huh? The problem is I, I have a, a bunch of different, like, variations of them. Like, you got Florida, I got Eagle, I got, you know, every state, man. You got the back quarters. Um, so I could, I guess I could add, like, random center punches as a listing um, but they're gonna be maybe like ten dollars for just the center punch and I don't know if that'll be worth your time but that's that's something I could do and they would be random like I can't really control what rings I'm making that day they're all pretty cool though yeah because I, I sell them for, I think 15 is keychains, and at least, at least 10 is center punches. So I, it's, it's a, it's a cost gain value situation. So if, I, if I sold them for any less than $10, to be losing money maybe I don't know I maybe could do them a little cheaper I maybe I could do them for five uh, 
Yeah, I might could do them for five. I just buy the centers for ten. Some are really awesome. Yeah, See, that's what I'm thinking. Is if I just sold these individually, they'd have to be like ten bucks. What's going on, Bud Tender? Welcome to the live. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, how much would you do a presidential dollar for? Uh, I've got uh, a few presidential dollars. Um, it would probably be like 55 or 60 bucks. And I could add those if you wanted. Is there a specific president you're looking for? So I can look through what I have real quick. Oh, they're all watching me make rings, silly. I don't know, anybody else buying the dip? Anybody else buying silver? No doubt, man. The writing on the rim is pretty cool. I really haven't done them too much because the detail where the ring would be um, like how you've got United States of America quarter dollar on here and the states and the dates it's, it makes really nice rings the the dollars don't really have details that lend to making great rings just the way everything's positioned I could do it but uh, that's kind of held me off is they're not I don't know super beautiful I'm giving some away on Tuesday. Hell yeah. Gotta love free silver. <laughs> there you go. Three Trump wings that fast. I don't have any Trump coins. Like at all. I guess I should get some. I got this thing. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? It's like a gold plated half dollar with this little T as the mint mark. That's funny. <laughs> Over the 2020. You'll see that little T? That's funny. But I don't even know what these are made of. My wife got me these, so I. I don't want to ring these, but I will look into um, getting some other ones. She got me these as a gift, so I'm going to hang on to them. It's actually a pretty cool set. It's got every year he was president on there. So these are, these are pretty cool. But yeah, with these presidential dollars... They, I just don't know if they would make very pretty rings. Just the detail just doesn't seem to be quite there for me. But I could do it uh, if somebody asked. Right. Let's get back to what we're working on. Getting distracted. Yeah, I'll look into getting some Trump rings for you guys. Some Trump coins. Well, I'm glad you like it, man. I try to try to make some cool stuff. Got that nice and cleaned up. We're gonna stretch it out a little bit, and then we'll anneal it. Yeah, that's right. I'll give you an example. Okay. So 
So like this is what the Indiana quarter looks like. And then here's the detail that shows up on the ring. So it's actually proportioned really well to make rings. Like I think the detail on these comes out really cool. And the center punches as well. The stake orders are just dope. They're perfect for rings. But I'm not sure the presidential dollars are. All right, that's that's like four votes for Trump. Right now. Okay, I will definitely look into some Trump coins for you guys. I hear you. Now, would you want like silver or would you want copper? Because silver is going to be pretty expensive. They're like the size of half dollars or dollars. That's going to be over the hundred buck range. This one to ten and a half. So we'll go ahead and anneal it so you can get that fire scale look too. Oh, you meant on the dollar? Would the text look like on the edge of the coin? I mean, it would look the same as the reeded edge on a quarter. So it would it would appear here, and you would see the text. So yeah, it, it would be a cool effect. Yeah, silver or copper, that's what I'm saying. That's mostly what I want to do. Anyways. So I guess, I guess I'll have to look for a little of both. And uh, for anybody who's just joined the live, I'm making coins into rings. If you'd like to see my store, you can click this picture right here, click the link in my bio, and then the blue button at the top that says new store. And you can see all the cool stuff I make. And I'm about done with this one. So if you wanna see a ring get made for you, right in front of you, live, go order one. And I will make your ring next, whoever orders next. I think that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, no problem. At least they gotta stretch it a little bit more. So much easier to work with after it's annealed. It's like butter. got a little carried away I stretched this one a little too far but that's okay do I have any 1973 quarters to make into rings or keychains absolutely I could do either one. Thank you very much, Reaper. I appreciate the compliment. Pop that in there. I'm slowly just working this down to a size 10 and a half. It's a little past. That's okay. We'll get her there. Yeah, just go to the um, pick your date quarter coin ring section and you should be able to find a 1973 option there. 
or you can just type the date in, I think. You see, we've got it just below that 10 and a half there. So I make it a little smaller, just a little bit. Get it right there. Yeah, you type the data. Well, on Etsy, you get to pick through like a scroll bar of options. And on my store website, you type the data. In. This ring's coming out looking really nice. It's got a cool, cool look to it. Go ahead and take a closer look at it before we knock all that fire scale off. We got it down to size. We got the shape right. Now we'll just make it shiny. Woo! And if you guys are enjoying this so far, go ahead and tap the screen. Send some likes my way. I'd appreciate it. sitting at 22,000 likes at the moment, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Did pretty good. You can see that those high details are starting to come out shiny, and the lower detail kind of hangs onto that fire scale. Really makes it pop. Thank you for the likes. And give me just a second. It's just easier to do this off screen a little bit so I can really get, get those details going. Look at that. That is super cool. It's a great looking ring. What do you think? I like it. Oh, about knocked my phone over. Yeah, the stars going across here in that arc, it's pretty sick. Indiana looks really good. You got the tire of the, uh, the race car that's on your pin here. Right on the side there. It's pretty cool. And then you got your date on the back. Very nice. So if you order um, a quarter coin ring with a pin center punch, this is what that looks like. And it'll look different based on the state quarter you choose. All right. Well, I'm all caught up with this. It's gonna take a little bit more polishing and cleaning up, but it's basically done. We just got an order for a Texas cowboy hat. What's been your favorite design? I really like how the back of a Morgan dollar looks as a ring. Nice, you're gonna put it on your tie. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, the back of a Morgan dollar looks really, really cool. I get to make a cowboy hat. This is exciting. Um, whoever ordered that, uh, 
No, I just ordered it, but I didn't see another option. Okay, what state did you want? You you said there were two different ones you were thinking about. You want a 1973 quarter? Got you. Let me, uh, let me find one. Like that, 1973. Let's do it. Now this is a little bit of a different process. Let's dive in. And we're gonna start by a new. here is I, I'm looking for the flame to turn kind of a bright orange. You see it's blue right now. When this gets hot enough, it'll turn orange. And that'll be my uh, my clue. Say, hey, you're done. Clue. Say, hey, you're done. There we go. Nice. And you can actually see this quarter is like red, red hot. Ooh, I popped a balloon. How much are the cowboy hats? I have to order two as soon as I can. It looks like she paid twelve seventy-five. They may be a little bit more expensive on my Etsy. Uh, it's just because Etsy has some weird uh, fees I have to pay, so everything there's a little more expensive. But on my website, uh, these are twelve seventy-five. And the next step is we're going to put a divot right in the middle here. That's going to be like the hump of our hat. It's going to be pretty cool. Make sure we get everything lined up here. Bear with me just a second as I get this set up. date on the outside of the hat, so we'll put that face down, put our little guide on top, we got a little ball bearing here, and we're just going to apply some pressure. That's how that looks so far. little hat folder pretty dang cute there's your 1973 date on there Uh, now I just need to punch a little hole in it so we can make it into a keychain. I agree, they're pretty cute. This is my heavy duty mega hole puncher here. Every other hole puncher I've ever got has broken and this thing is a beast. Highly recommend. for our keychain and I'm going to go ahead and uh, run some steel wool over this to really bring those details out so what brand hole punch it's on 
here. Carpe tools. It's very good. Yeah, you don't want to get any of that stuff. They got a Hobby Lobby. All that stuff will break. So here you can see we've got we got some fire scale on here. Looking kind of dull. I'm making a cowboy hat. Yeah. 1973 cowboy hat quarter. Keychain. We're just going to clean it up with some steel wool real quick. So give me just a sec. Ben, you always coming in here dropping presents. You a good dude, man. I <laughs> appreciate it. Well, if anybody else would like something made, uh, you can tap this up here. It'll take you to my profile. On my profile, I've got a nice little link to my website. And from there, you can find my store and order something. Uh, if anybody orders something in the next three minutes or so, I'll start making it. And you can really see that shine starting to come back in, okay? I'm sorry I have to do this off camera. It's just it's, it's weird angles to really buff this thing. So the back is still pretty pretty dark. So we'll go ahead and buff that out and get it nice and shiny. My wife has been singing neon moon for the past three days and it's stuck in my head <laughs> I can't get rid of it a neon moon. And you, can, you get some real nice like shiny versus dark contrast with that fire scale and the, uh, the steel wool combination. It's pretty cool. I can see a couple of y'all hopping over to my store. If you see anything you like, make sure to order. I'll make it right here in front of you. Looks like somebody, yeah, it looks like Country Me wants to go order a hat. Uh, if you want a specific date or state, um, go ahead and order on this live. I think I only have Texas listed, uh, but like Jana did, just tell me what you want and, and I'll do the, the quarter you want. That's not a problem. Look at that. Just adorable. So cute. I'll put it on my little thing here. Get them all countrified. Is that not just the cutest thing you've seen all day? you up a keychain and we'll get this finished up. This part's kind of freaked people out before because I do it with my bare hands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread this jump ring through here like that. We're gonna thread the keychain onto the jump ring like that. And I'm just gonna grab that jump ring with these and just bend it closed. There you go. 
Got a handmade 1973 cowboy hat quarter keychain. Boom. <laughs> I join. I mean, Megatron. That's not a terrible idea. But that's basically what I do here, right? I love making stuff live for people. It's it's super cool. I'm glad you like it. I'm I'm glad you pulled the trigger on this. I think you're really gonna enjoy this. This is a cool, cool little thing. There's not a lot of them out there in the world. Very cool, very cool. Alright, who wants to have something made next? Let me know. Yeah, this is really nice, Janet. That's cool. Sounds good, man. If you order right now, I'll be able to make it right here in front of you. I'm not trying to rush you or anything. But people, uh, they seem to like when they get to watch their stuff be made. And I like to do it too. Right? That's what I'm saying. And, and you get, you get to have your own little special customization, have it made just the way you want. Like you got the 1973 instead of the Texas. I think it looks great. This came out really cool. So let's just pile up all the stuff that we have made today up on here. All right, man, no rush. You make sure you get your ring size and uh, let me know in a week, bud. We made a day. So pretty. And no silver, man. This is all copper. I love working with silver, but copper's cool too. This is it's a decent amount of uh, <laughs> rings here. Really pleased with how these came out. Yeah, most of these, let's say uh, five of these were from yesterday's live, and then the rest of these are from today's. But still, pretty good. Got a lot of work done. Definitely got some mail to send out. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit longer. Um, go ahead and go check out my website. Tap this button right here. Tap the link in my bio. Just go check out what I have. I've got stuff from $10 for... 2020 quarter coin rings up to I think $170 for 90% silver uh, Morgan and Peace dollar rings look like this uh, it's a lot easier for me to work with what I have um, just because shipping time shipping expenses uh, things getting lost in the mail it's just a lot easier I do have Kentucky Quarters, uh, yes. Uh, you can find those in the uh, any U.S. state quarter listing. Let's see if I can pull that up. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Huh. <laughs> Do I have an Indiana Silver? I think I have one. Let me check my list for you. So these are the Silver State Quarters that I do have. And I have one Indiana. So yeah, I can do that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much. 
feel free to share my channel with anyone you think would be interested. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I'm just kind of going to take a little, little break here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm back guys, I'm sorry. Just just ran off for a moment, get myself something to drink. My throat was getting a little dry. Yep, if you'd like something made, check out the link in my bio. If you order right now, I will make whatever you order live here on TikTok. We made quite a few rings and this super cute little cowboy hat today. So are you interested in a, a silver Indiana quarter coin ring? I really like how the silver quarter coin rings come out. I've got a silver Texas one here on hand I can show you. And you can just really tell like the difference between the silver and the copper. Just like how it just kind of throws that light around. Yeah, you'll get a sticker. Absolutely. I'll send you a magnet, too. You earned it. You've been a very good mod. I'll send you a bunch of stickers if you want. I'll hook you up. See, I've got these cute little magnets I got. I haven't sold a single one of them, but I think they're just the neatest little magnets. So I'll, I'll send you one of these. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, what's her What's her ring size? Oop, you ordered a keychain. Let me see, let me see. Quarter hat keychain, uh, random year. Um, what year would you like? Uh, country me, 13? Is there a specific year or state you would prefer? Let me know. Yeah, that'd be great. That'll look cool on your truck. Kentucky? Can do. Sounds good. Yeah, no rush. Make sure you get the right size. That's what I always say. So I'm going to put all these up so I don't lose anything. And then we'll make this cowboy hat here.
And thank you for your order. I appreciate it. And every order helps my little business become a little bit bigger. So I really do appreciate all the support from you guys. Thank you very much. I think I only have half dollar silver hats listed right now. I don't think I have uh, quarter ones. I've never made one. I made a half dollar once. So, um, ready shot one. I think that's right. Uh, what what kind of silver quarter are you thinking? The half dollar. I can pull that up. That should be on the catalog. Do, do, do. Yeah, that the silver half dollar is fifty five. Yeah, that's ninety percent. And you can find that by uh, tapping this picture right here and then the link in my profile. And then there's a, a blue button and the, at the top of my website that says new store. And you'll be looking for the listing that is called Cowboy Hat Keychain Walking Liberty Half Dollar 90% Silver. And those are, those are 55 and they come out really cool. Let's see if I can pull up a picture of it. I really, really liked making this. Yeah, my internet's super slow uh, while I'm on live, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fold this and then I'll show you a picture. Uh, where's my picture? This. Oh my goodness! It's not letting me make it any bigger, but that's that's what it looks like. They come out really nice. Um, the guy who ordered this asked specifically for it over and over and over and over again. So I, I broke down and I made him one and I just loved how it came out. So they, they are really, really neat. This picture doesn't do it justice. Uh, I'll try and pull up a better picture for you. You can find it on my website, but they're awesome. And you'd have, like, the only other one in the world, I'm pretty sure. You'd have number two. So, I think that would be pretty cool. I'd love to make another one. And I'll let you pick the date if you order one, too. I've got a couple dates you can pick from. Yeah, that would be fun. the Kentucky and on this one would you like the the keychain hole on the bottom of the quarter so that you still got Kentucky up here at the top I think that would look better um, but I can also kind of put it underneath the K here so let me know where you'd want it you want it at the bottom down here I think that'll look better okay we'll do that Y'all okay? I dropped you. <laughs> Everybody okay? I didn't crack my phone, so that's good. Butterfingers over here. There we go. Got a nice hole punch there. 
October because all holidays in September. Hey, no worries, man. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff off some of this uh, fire scale and we'll get some of that shine back on here for you, okay? And if uh, anybody else would like a cowboy hat or a coin ring made, um, I'm open after this one's finished. So I can make something else on this live. If you're interested, uh, just tap this icon up here, tap the link in my bio, and check out my store. I've got stuff that ranges from $4 all the way up to, I think, about $200. So I've got all kinds of cool stuff I can make for you right here on this live, if you're interested. I think this live's gone pretty well. I appreciate y'all hanging out. I've had a good time. Have y'all had fun? Get to see some cool stuff get made. That's what's up. There we go. Now we've still got a little bit more detail here I want to work on, but it's looking pretty cool. Absolutely. And uh, if you ever want to rewatch it get made, uh, follow me on YouTube because I repost all my TikTok lives there. So you can go back and you can show people your ring or your hat get made whenever you want. If you clear my ring with clear spray paint, you think that would work? Um, I think it would work for a little bit. Uh, salt in your sweat and just rubbing back and forth has a way of working off whatever you put on these rings. Uh, that's why I suggest clear fingernail polish just because it's it's easy to paint on, it's cheap, and you can do it as soon as you uh, you see the layer start to come off or your fingers starting to turn green. And just paint it real quick, let it dry, and you'll have a nice little uh, clear protective layer on there. I did not want to focus. That's pretty dang cool, ain't it? Look at that. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this one. Yep, I like that. Let's put a keychain on it. <laughs> Holy shit, Batman. That's, that's great. Build all my jump rings. It's okay. It's okay. I'll pick them up. Oh, I'm spilling more stuff. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the live. If anybody else who just joined doesn't know what's going on here, I'm making coin jewelry. Um, pretty much made to order. If you order right now, I will make it right here in front of you. You can find my store by clicking this button and the link in my bio. And then there's a little blue button that says new store at the top there. You can see all the different stuff I offer. If you see something you like, order it and I'll make it right here pretty good deal. Nice. Yeah, I've wanted to try and make um, rings out of horseshoes, the horseshoe nails, but I haven't been able to track any down. 
but I think that would be a pretty cool little project. Especially if I was able to gold plate them. I think they would look really cool. my pliers for a second there. Close that up. There we go. Dang cool. You're very welcome. I'm glad you like it. And um, this should uh, ship out either tomorrow or first thing Monday. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for joining everybody. Um, I guess I'm going to hang out for maybe three more minutes, uh, see if anybody else wants something made. And if not, uh, I may just get off of here. If anybody has any questions, feel free to let me know. Go ahead and run through everything we've made today so far. We've got the... Uh, Tomorrow's Monday, you're right. Well, I'm not wrong. It'll be either tomorrow or Monday. <laughs> so we've got the uh, 1989. Yeah, I guess it is Sunday, you're right. You're right. Yeah, if you place an order right now, I'll make it in front of you. For sure. I'm looking for one more thing to make. It's the Oregon one. It's the bicentennial size 13. It's a big ring. Got another, I think, 1988. Yep. Kentucky, size 13. Another big quarter cornering. The wife says she wants tacos. 1973 quarter cowboy hat, keychain. That one came out really nice. We can do it. 1994 quarter coin ring. The wife says she wants tacos. Another one. And the last one is an Indiana quarter coin ring. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me on this live. Uh, I hope to see <laughs> you guys in another live sometime. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and go get some tacos. Y'all have a great day. Um, go check out some of my other videos. Make sure to follow. And I'll see you later. Bye.